for those that heed the song of the Iliad. You will hear of a story so filled with passion found in the cruelty of war. You will be filled to the brim with love and heroism brandished by our protagonists. You will meet characters oozing with pride and rage and you will become witness to the destruction of a large and prosperous city of Troy at the hands of the greatest and bravest warrior whose only weakness is his heel. Our story begins nine years after the start of the Trojan War. After the Achaean army sacks the town of Christ, during the battle, the Achaeans captured a pair of beautiful maidens, Cases and Briseis. Agamemnon, the leader of the Achaean forces, takes Cases as his prize, while Achilles takes Briseis as his. Agamemnon, I beg of you, do not take my daughter Cases away. I will give you anything you want. Just please, let my daughter stay. You couldn't possibly think that you have anything to offer that is of any value to me, except for your fair daughter. Oh, inspiring and musical god Apollo, I ask of you a plague that will devastate the Achaean army. I ask of you, not for me, but for my dear daughter, Chryseis. When Agamemnon hears of this, he reluctantly agreed to set Chryseis free, but then demand Briseis from Achilles as a compensation. This angered Achilles. I will not stand for this, for having my prize taken just because you lost yours. You've got a lot of a nerve, Agamemnon! But as the payback for the insult you've done me, you will no longer have my service at the siege of Troy. May Troy prosper and the Greeks suffer. We don't have Achilles. We only do afraid. The Greeks are weak. We can't hold them back. We no longer have Achilles. We're losing. We need to get back to the ships and protect it. Hope exhausted and defeat imminent on the Achaean side, Patroclus entered the battlefield wearing Achilles' armor. His presence helped push the Trojans back, but the victory didn't last long, as Patroclus' armor was knocked down and Hector slays him. When Achilles discovered that Hector has killed Patroclus, his beloved friend, he was filled with rage, enough that he reconciled with Agamemnon and rejoined the battle. I will avenge my dear friend, Patroclus. The one that took his life, Hector, shall suffer my wrath. Donning a new armor made by Hephaestus, the blacksmith of the gods, Achilles rejoins the battle and turns the tide around. Hector flees, and Achilles had to chase him around the city's perimeter three times before Athena intervenes and tricks Hector into fighting Achilles. In a dramatic duel, Achilles kills Hector. He then lashes the body at the back of his chariot and drags it across the battlefield to Achaean camp. Upon Achilles' arrival, the triumphant Achaeans celebrate Patroclus' funeral with a long series of athletic games in his honor. Each day, for the next nine days, Achilles drags Hector's body in circles around Patroclus' grave. At last, the gods agree that Hector deserves a proper burial. Zeus sends the god Hermes, the messenger of the gods, to escort King Priam, Hector's father and the ruler of Troy, 
into the Achaean camp. Who are you? I have endured what no one on earth has endured before. I kissed the hands of a man who killed my son. You are a brave man. I could have your head on a spit in a blink of an eye. Do you think death frightens me now? You drag his body behind your chariot. Give him back to me. He deserves a proper burial. He killed my cousin! He thought it was you. How many cousins have you killed? How many sons and fathers? How many, brave Achilles? He returns Hector's corpse to the Trojans, who gave him a hero's funeral.